say it's a case of not in my backyard versus not in my lifetime. So which has a better shot at reducing our dependence on foreign oil? Is it nuclear or solar? We're going to have a heated debate on this on tap next. Literally heated debate. Yeah. There's been a long-running debate between energy experts when it comes to nuclear versus solar. So which is more cost-effective and requires the lowest government subsidies? And which is a more viable alternative for large-scale power production, which is safe for all these questions? Which should be the focus of our national energy policy? We've been talking about now, you know, drilling off the coast of Florida and California. Joining us for Happy Hour, Steve Jelsey. He is from MarketWatch.com. I love that website. Website, Thank you. And Ezra Green, CEO of Clear Skies Solar. And of course, that means Ezra's here to talk about solar. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, you know, like as you're saying, you cover a lot of the energy yeah. industry, or, you know, so you'll give us a perspective, sure. you know, as well as with nuclear. But, you know, I read your article today on the, um, it was June 13th on the website. Sure. And you cover this a lot. And basically, there's this push now to go more so into nuclear. Well, I'm going to throw in a Fox reference here. This this is not Homer Simpson's uh, nuclear plant. Thank goodness. That's what, that's, what, that's what they're saying now. It's not Homer Simpson's nuclear plant. They're, they're using modal construction to try to uh, build them more quickly than they used to in the past. The past nuclear plants used to be these custom things. They used to be these custom jobs, and now they're trying to do it modal. G is doing a Hitachi, yeah. Westinghouse. I think the big question, though, that a lot of people have, though, is it safe? I, well, I, I, you know, we're not going to solve that you know, question right from here. From what you can gather, the, your research that you've done, been, is it well, safe? Well, there hasn't been an accident uh, since Three Mile Island, and you know maybe. But we haven't maybe, used it as much maybe, since you know. Well, well, we have a hundred. We have a hundred and four nuclear plants in the country, and they've been going. We haven't had a major accident in at least twenty years. So that's. But also, people are also realizing they're weighing the danger of nuclear against the danger of global warming. So yeah. that's a bigger question too. That's right. really come on strong the last couple of years. So people are thinking about that. So Ezra, as the CEO, you know your company, you guys are trying to push solar. How do you get uh, you know the public and the government to say, hey, you need to back solar instead of nuclear? Well, well, economically, it's viable. That's the first way to make it work. Uh, the other is, you know, as far as competing with nuclear energy and other forms of fossil fuel, it's a matter of economics, and there's no simple answer uh, for the energy, you know, uh, problem. There's no one solution. So solar is one of them. Wind is another. Uh, nuclear has its fit. Uh, and, you know, you have so many other thermal alternatives that are coming on. Uh, we just hope that the public, since they're adopting it, right. uh, the government will recognize that and just continue with the rebates. Well, let me ask you the questions that we pose, though. Which is more cost-effective, okay, just solar or nuclear? Uh, on the quick answer, of course, I'm going to say solar only because it's got a, <laughs> it's got a, it's got a longevity that uh, can be 40, 50 years out. There's and a lot of which is safer? Yeah. There's a lot of different costs to factor into the whole thing, too. Yeah, Who do, yeah solar is probably safer. Solar is a safer alternative. Okay, and does it, do you guys get big government subsidies as well? Uh, not as big as we'd like them. Uh, the government has always been generous up until now. And uh, there's a 30% tax credit, uh, which both the Republicans and Dems are trying to wrestle with and at this moment, uh, literally today. Uh, hopefully, they'll renew it for the 09 going forward period. Uh, but, you know, up until then, we're just fighting for the rest of the year. And, Steve, as you yeah. co cover this industry, you know, well, what are the pe people saying in the renewable energy sources about now, you know, you have the government wanting to drill off the shores of Florida and uh, California? Um, everybody, you know, when it, when it comes to energy, all I ever hear is I hear the same thing over and over again. I hear, bring it on. <laughs> you know, we got flat screen TVs we got to fuel. We got we got cars we got to run. I mean, it's, we got an economy to fuel. So, I mean, solar is part of it. Nuclear is part of it. And, it, you know, everything's got its upside and its downside. Nuclear, right. They don't know where to put all the waste. I mean, there's 60,000 tons of nuclear waste stored on nuclear uh, plant facilities right now. They want to move that all to, to, uh, to Nevada. Uh, yeah, so I know. Like some of the Indian reservations out there. Like, it's like, like hey, oh, no, yet another controversy there's no, there. There's no, I mean, I mean, there's just no one solution to any of this stuff. Yeah. It's a race, you know, the survival of the fittest, whoever, you know, can figure out this technology fastest and provide us with some solutions. Uh, Steve Jelsey from MarketWatch.com, good to see you. And Ezra Green, CEO of Clear Skies Solar. Thanks so Thank much you. for coming on Thanks. the show. Thanks. Coaster? Be sure to check out our IR website, www.